Hello and welcome back to Safe Haven Positivity, dedicated to sharing insights on personal development and growth. I'm your host, Blessing, and I'm excited to have you join me for yet another wonderful episode. I want to take you on the journey through a field of psychology that focuses not on what's wrong with us, but on what's right. It's a journey into the world of positive psychology where the pursuit of happiness is not just a whimsical notion, but a science-backed path to enhancing life satisfaction. If this is your first time joining us and you'd like to grow in your personal life, then you're at the right place. So don't miss any episode by subscribing to our channel and click on the notification bell so you'll be the first to receive insights on our personal development journey. You can also follow our other social media handles at Safe Heaven on the Spot Positivity. So let's start writing. Our journey begins with the question, what makes life truly fulfilling? Aristotle once said, happiness is the meaning and the purpose of life the whole aim and end of human existence. But how do we achieve this elusive state of happiness? Positive psychology has some answers, so let's explore it. Let's start with the basics. Positive psychology is the scientific study of the strengths and virtues that enable individuals and communities to thrive. It's about looking at what's going right in life rather than dwelling on what's going wrong. Positive psychology is built on three fundamental pillars. And the first one is positive emotions. This pillar focuses on cultivating positive emotions like joy, gratitude, and love, and understanding how they contribute to our overall well-being. The second one is positive character traits. It explores our strengths and virtues, such as resilience, courage, and empathy, and how developing these traits can lead to a more fulfilling life. And the third one is the positive institutions. This pillar examines the role of institutions like schools, workplaces, and communities in promoting well-being and positive development. One of the key concepts in positive psychology is gratitude. Research has shown that practicing gratitude can lead to increased life satisfaction and overall happiness. It's a simple but powerful tool to enhance our well-being. Positive psychology also delves into the science of happiness. Studies have a revealed that only about 10% of our happiness is determined by external circumstances, while a whopping 40% is within our control through intentional activities and thoughts. Another fascinating aspect of positive psychology is the concept of flow. It's that state of being completely absorbed in an activity where time seems to stand still. When we experience flow, we're not only happier, but we, we're also more productive and fulfilled. What's even more incredible is that the benefits of positive psychology don't stop with us. They have a ripple effect on our relationships and our communities. When we're happier, we spread positivity to those around us creating a more vibrant and connected world. So, as we conclude our journey into the world of positive psychology, I want to leave you with this thought. Happiness is not a destination. It's a way of life. It's about finding joy in the present moment, cultivating your strengths, and nurturing your relationships. Positive psychology offers us the tools to make that journey one step 
at the top toward a more fulfilling and satisfying life. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of positive psychology and blessing. And remember, the pursuit of happiness is not a selfish endeavor. It's a gift we can give ourselves and share with the world. Let's embrace the science of well-being and make the world a happier place, one smile at a time.